Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So last time you saw us working on the houseboat and getting the engines pulled out, on this episode, we're gonna be building a rolling cradle so we can finally cut the boat in half. And I'm also gonna explain some more on why we're cutting the boat in half. So let's get going. Okay, so if you've seen the past couple episodes, you know we're gonna cut the boat in half right about here. And so we need something to be able to roll that section of the boat down the driveway so that we can insert the other piece of boat that we're gonna splice into the middle. Okay, here's what I've drawn up in Fusion 360 and what we've gotta build. I call it the Boat Ruiner 5000. So basically it's a cradle with four cheap three ton Harbor Freight hydraulic jacks inside of some telescoping square tubing. And it's gonna sit on at least eight casters that way we can jack the section of the boat up and roll it backwards down the driveway. So I sent this picture to Nate and he got his mechanical engineering degree from Texas Tech and he said, looks good to me. So that's all the confirmation I need to start building the thing. Okay, we're gonna use the CNC plasma table to cut these parts out. I bought this thing from Brandon a couple years ago. It's got a lot of good use over here at the shop. It's a Torchmate brand plasma table, and I think Lincoln Electric bought them now, uh, so I'm not sure how they are now, but this OG model, it's pretty good. Now we've got a dedicated computer to run the plasma table. I'll do a video about this thing one day, but it's made out of all copper. This is all copper and sprayed it with salt water, so it kind of aged it a little faster. It's water-cooled. The CPU and the GPU both have water blocks on them and there's no radiator. So this copper loop here is what radiates the heat. So there's no fans in this thing. But since it's open loop, got to add water to it every once in a while. So we'll do that right now, get this thing fired up. All right, so for that, usually use the old coffee pot in the shop, it works pretty good. Get some water in here. Okay, come over here. Here's what you do. You avoid pouring it right into the power strip because that's no good. Get her up here above the... There we go. Just a little bit. We're on a well out here, so you get minerals, vitamins in the water. It's good for the water blocks. Okay, so here's my workflow on something like this. So first I'll pull each part out of Fusion 360 and into this program called Bobcad. This has been the easiest program for 2D stuff like this uh, for the plasma table. And then we can real quick generate the G code to bring back down here to the plasma cutter and cut the parts out. Okay, next we've got to fill the plasma table up with water Hit the go button and hope it cuts the parts out right.
Okay, so we've got all the parts cut out now. We ran the old torch mate just about into the ground, cutting everything out. We've got stacks of all kinds of Tetris pieces to sort through and probably spend the next three days to weld everything together. So that's next. So for that, it's time to fire up the old Lincoln. We're gonna MIG this thing together. So it's MIG 210 time. Main thing is we gotta make sure we've got plenty of gas in this thing. I haven't checked it in a while, let's see. Uh, about 2000 PSI, that should be enough to get us part way through the thing. So let's fire it up. Here's kind of a status update. So we've got the first lift built. It's just sitting on here. It's not tacked in yet, a little wobbly, but it looks like it's gonna work. We've got one of the casters mounted on here. So now I've just got to build three more and get them on. All right, here's a free little tip for those of us who are not welders by trade, the weekend warriors here. See, this thing's a little out of level. Got a big gap to fill there. So what you do, just get you another piece of metal, ram jam it in there, and then you just weld right over it. No one will ever know it was there. So there you go. Fill a quarter inch gap with some extra metal. No one will know. Free tip, there you go. All right guys, so here is the final product, the Boat Ruiner 5000. The other thing we've got to do is get inside the boat and rip the interior out so we can actually cut this thing in half.
Okay, so one last thing I wanted to do is show you guys some renderings of the boat. So if I stand back here at the back of the main salon area, and we go back in time, you can see we had a couple Walmart couches on the port side, and then we had the little kitchen area. Now here's what I've drawn inside of SketchUp. So with the boat seven feet longer, we can still have three couches that can pull out into beds for people to sleep on, but then we can make the kitchen an actual usable size with an L-shaped counter and a stove top, things like that. We can make the bathroom a little bigger and have some counter space on the port side of the boat. And I think we can get a water heater in this cabinet and actually have hot water on the boat. Okay, then up towards the front, we can get an actual decent sized fridge. We can get some big cabinets for the electronic systems that we're gonna have on the boat. I'm not quite sure what the design of the bridge area will look like and we haven't figured out what colors to use for everything. But let's be honest, looking at this, uh, we're a long way from needing to worry about what color to paint the cabinets. All right guys, so the next video, hopefully the gang is over here cutting the boat in half. There's the line right about where we're gonna be cutting the thing. The first cold front just came through in Texas, so it's about that time. So we'll see y'all on the next one.